Hi, welcome back. It's Emily and Kristen with Making Math Make Sense. We have a new digital game for you to play today. It is Rolling with Numbers. We have two other games that are very similar to this one, Rolling with Fractions and Rolling with Decimals, but this game involves whole numbers. You get to pick how many place values you're going to have your students, or if you are a student, you get to pick how many place values you are going to play with, with however many dice you roll. Kristen and I are gonna play the game. The whole point of the game is to sequence your numbers. You can see on the game board, we're gonna put our least numbers on the bottom and our greatest numbers on top. As we roll, we are gonna be able to make different numbers with our dice. See what we're talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna click the dice button. I can choose however many dice, two, three, four, or five. Emily and I are just gonna play with ones and tens. So I'm going to select two dice. My two digits are three and four, so I can make either 34 or 43. I'm going to make the number 43, and I'm going to choose to put it in this oval right here. Once you decide what number you want to make, you can put it anywhere along the path, but it has to stay in sequential order. So at the beginning, if you're the first player to go, if I had put 43 all the way down here at the bottom, that would have meant every number we made had to be greater than the number 43. That probably would not have been a very wise decision on my part, so that's why I went ahead and put it here. Have your kids also talk about what the range of numbers will be when you're working with um, however many digits. With us just working with two digits, keep in mind, we're only using six-sided dice, so we only have the digits one, two, three, four, five, and six that we're working with. Um, as Emily has told you in previous games, you can very easily change that up and you can do a link on here for your students to have an interactive 10-sided die that they're working with. That way they can have the digits zero through nine. Um, if you're playing this at school and you have place value dice, then you can obviously have them actually rolling the real dice instead of the computer generated ones here. All right, Emily, it's your turn. I'm gonna roll for you. And you have a two and a three. So I could make 23 or I could make 32. I'm gonna make 23. And I would like for you to go down, skip one underneath your 43 and put mine in the next one down. Yep, right there, please. All right, and you're making 23 and what color font? I'll take purple. So when you have more than one player, changing up the font colors is what's going to determine the different players' um, plays. And if you're as competitive as Kristen and I are, at the end of the game, you see who was able to place the most numbers on the sequence board, and that player wins. All right, so I have a four and a one. So I can do 14 or I can do 41. If I wanted to do 41, I would have to put it in this oval because it comes between 23 and 43. Um, but I think I'm going to do 14 and I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Okay. All right. So now on Emily's turn, three and five. Three and five. Let's see. 35 or 53. I'm going to go 35. And the only place I can place 35 is right there in that spot, greater than 23, but less than 43. All right, on my turn, I have, oh, I have three and five. So I can't do 35 since Emily already placed that one. So I have to do 53 and I am going to put it, uh, actually, I'm gonna put it up here at the top. I'm gonna pull some strategy here. Put 53 up here at the top. And now I'm gonna roll for Emily. And you have a four and a five. A 45 or a 54. So I'm gonna do 45 and I'm gonna go one above 43 in that circle, please. All right, oops, I need to change the font over here. 45, all right, let's see if I get it on my turn. I rolled a three and a four. So I could either do 34 or 43. I am blocked, I can't do either. Uh-oh, now it's Emily's so turn. She has lost a turn and I have 36 or 63. I have also lost a turn. What are the only numbers that we can place on this board right now? 
we could make a 15, right? We could make a 16. We can't make 17, 18, or 19 because we don't have those digits on our dice, but we could make 21. We could make 22, 23. Oh, 23 is already on there. So we only have like five numbers that we can place on this board right now. And I have a 33, so 33, mine doesn't fit on there. We have to see who's going to win. Emily, you have a 1-4, 14 14 or 41. On there. So I cannot let's play. Right. Oh, I have a 3 and a 5. Our strategy before didn't, kind of backfired. Emily, you have a I cannot a play. Oh, man. Back to me. I have a six and a four. Let's I go one more play. And you have a three and a one. Oh, barely. All right. Well, you guys get the point of this game. You're going to roll however many dice you want your students to um, have that many place values. And they're going to order from least to greatest. We hope you enjoy this game. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. There are a lot of variations to this game using different place values, using different numbers of dice. Maybe you still want um, your students to use two dice, but you have them multiplying the numbers instead of having those be the two digits, and that's the number that they put on the board. Uh, there's lots of different ways you can play. Leave us a comment and let us know what you ended up deciding on doing.